All right, guys, so I want to give you a quick walk around video of my 2024 Nitro. This is my tournament rig for this year. You know, I'm really excited about running this boat. We've already fished a couple tournaments, so it's not exactly clean. It's pretty dirty, but it's tournament ready. And uh, I'm really enjoying this boat. So I'm going to give you a walk around of how I have it set up and what I really enjoy about this boat. So starting at the front, all the way to the back, we have all Garmin, right? Just as always, come a Garmin Force Troll motor. I run three graphs up front. I don't, I'm not getting crazy with all the graph stuff. I want to keep stuff practical, right? So I have a 12 up front that I use for my forward transducer. I have a 10 beside it down here that I use for my perspective transducer. And then the graph beside it I use just for my mapping in 2D. Um, so I keep it pretty simple up there. All of that is on a Bass Boat Technologies mount. This is a great mount. It's super sturdy. It's protecting my investment. It's going to keep me, you know, work in order when I'm on the water in rough water, which is important, guys. If you're going to spend all this money on all this technology, make sure you protect your investment with a good mount. Let's head towards the back of the boat. So we've got the TASF Lose Strike King Bass Pro wrap. It's wrapped in uh, VSX from True Timber. Uh, some camo pattern that I'm using for hunting. Really enjoy it for fishing too. Thought it would look good on the boat. Fade to black. Um, back here in the back, so I'm running Z Pro batteries. I have two 36 volt batteries. All right, they're wired on a selector switch. That's what I use for my trolling motor power. Uh, if I have any issues, which I hardly ever do, or if I'm in super heavy current and I want to switch to a fresh battery later in the day, I can easily do that with that selector switch. The powerful charge is what really keeps the system going, though. I'm running all five of these graphs off of one 12-volt lithium battery. I know that everybody's getting crazy with all this other stuff. For the last several years, I've been running the same Z-Pro lithium 12-volt battery. With the help of the power pole charge, using the alternator off my Mercury motor, it's keeping everything charged, working throughout the day. I have no problems, guys. Uh, power poles, as always, as I said, Mercury, tried and true, guys. This motor's been great to me over the years. I can't say enough about it. Uh, this year, I am running brakes, too. I'm not going to get too in-depth in those, but y'all check them out a little bit. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of a new thing. It's new to me. I've only fished one tournament with it. At Washita was my first tournament to fish with them and I did enjoy using them. I mean, they helped me out with boat positioning, and for me, that's a huge thing, all right? Something I really, really like about the Nitro that I, I really kind of like, like last week at, at Awachita, we were fishing in a lot of really heavy timber, and I didn't want to hit my motor on all kind of stuff when I was idling through there. I could quickly press the shallow water button right here, and it's gonna raise my jack plate to the highest level, and it puts my motor level as well. So I could idle through all that timber, Never hit my motor, didn't have to fumble around with all my jack plate buttons and all that stuff. Just all I do is hit that one button right there, shallow water. Whenever I was ready to take off, quickly hit hole shot. It drops it down to the optimum level for my jack plate and trims my motor all the way down. So, I mean, just little simple stuff like that to help me be more efficient on the water is a huge deal for me. Uh, I've got my two 12 inch Garmin's here at the console. I use this unit right here for uh, side imaging always. And then this unit over here, I have set up uh, map on this screen. This is my 2D uh, selection. I quickly go to two. I swap to where I got my down imaging. And then three, I've got my map that I actually run around with whenever I'm, you know, not wanting to look at my 2D. Overall, guys, I've really, really enjoyed running this boat over the last couple months. It's got plenty of storage. I've got all my tackle in here. The rod lockers are huge. The easiest thing, or the best thing about it is the accessibility to be able to run wires, rig graphs, all that stuff. This has been by far the easiest boat that I've ever had to work in and do that kind of stuff in. Uh, this right here comes right out. I can get access to any of my wires if I have any kind of loose connections, which I don't typically because I run the Sea Clear harness. I have direct clean power going to all my electronics from my batteries. And you know, I don't have any issues when it comes to that. I have all good connections and I have clear C clear power coming from my batteries. And that also helps me out a lot with my efficiency of my setup doing what I'm doing, but this boat's got plenty of storage, rides great, fish is great. I've got all the room in the world up here. When we're filming, we got a camera crew in the boat sometimes. Having this extra room has been phenomenal, guys. I really, really enjoy this boat. Um, so that's it, guys. I just want to give you a quick run around of how my boat was set up for the 2024 season. Uh, it's been a great start so far. Hopefully we can keep it rolling. I appreciate you guys watching and following along and we'll see you on the water.